Hey, pre-notification gang. Let's read some flower. You see the Steam trailer for the Killer Bean game? Yep. I saw. Thanks for Resub Gaming. Yeah, you know what? Maybe we'll do some. We'll try a Baldur's Gate 3 solo campaign tonight. Maybe we'll give that a whirl. Thanks for Resub Crispy and HGH. We sub Ark Rosa Chase Massive Pashi and Elijah. Why are you on Twitch? Why do people keep asking that? I said in the video I'm just going back and forth. I'm just no longer exclusive here. So now I can do YouTube and Twitch. What are you talking about? Does anyone fucking watch like I said that within the first like forty five seconds? Let's see, Mighty, Lycan, Branch, Wrench, Nico, Butter, Shoe, Parzival, Jax, Swoogity, Cav, Hansen, Miner, Burrito, and Tier 1, a spectacle, a spectacular, wow, a, a, a spectacular, sorry, I fucked your name up. There's some Mills, Baron, Brett, Danny, Walla, and the Prime Rider, and Hex. You're going to stream on YouTube and Twitch at the same time? Nope. Can't do that. Not allowed. It's against the rules of Twitch. So it has to be different ones on different platforms. Yes, yeah, Alphineas. Thanks for your Reptar and Sauce and Pelican and the Bits Oyster. You gonna play Wayfinder? Yeah, I'm gonna try Wayfinder at some point with the boys. And the Prime Huevos and the Resub Cass and Jordan. You read about Lucy Letby. That's the serial killer nurse. Yeah, talked about her last night. Thanks for some taco. Yeah, I already saw the trailer. The only thing I'm concerned about with the Killer Bean game is that there's not going to be a story. There wasn't a single line here, not dialogue, not a character making a sound effect, nothing. So it makes me a little concerned that there's not going to be any narrative at all. So, just a bit uneasy that it might end up just being basically a tech demo. More than an actual game. Here's some Jordan, Joy Boy, Pulsar, Resolution, Bean, Prelax, and Chris. And the bits Phineas. Next to the resub Fasta. Have you seen the Andrew Tate anime opening? You're in it. No way. <laughs> I'll have to check this out. Oh, let me just go to my part. 
I want to see what that looks like. Damn, they put a lot of effort into this. <laughs> this is cool. Where am I, though? Oh, here. I see. I'm in, like, a, a side fight here with Sneeko. Thanks, they resub Coco in the Prime Chaos. In the Prime Grills. In the 5 gift subs Taekwondo. This guy's talented. Is this his first animation? Yeah. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Pretty fucking cool. Thanks to resub kill zone and toast. Show us. No, go watch it on your own. I don't know why people still ask that. The only thing I ever watch on stream is news or trailers. Yeah, this seems very well made. Thanks to Resub OC. I totally forgot to look for it. I'm sorry, Sneaky. I'll do that after stream. That is my bad. Thanks, you sub man. In tier one wheel. You sub radon. In K. EA, JoJo, and Deadshot. And TG. I have still not caught up on Bleach yet. I will, though. Is there some Forox? And tier 1 Weeby. The part 2 episodes are so good. Part 1 was good, too. They're actually crushing it. Is it to give subs tech window? The bits nub. Is the prime showdown the resub Karomi? Remnant 2 tonight. Nah, the boys aren't around. I think they're doing Baldur's Gate tonight. So no, still not finishing that yet. Is the resub Holt? Yeah, I'm still I'm still grinding magic. Is the resub cutting edge? Ghost Runner is an incredible game. I'm super excited for the new one. It comes out soon, right? And I think it comes out in the next couple months. No concrete release date, but it is said to be 2023. Thanks, you Elgato.
Yeah, that might be a bit better, Sneaky. When are we playing Halo Infinite? Eh. I don't know. Probably at some point, I'm sure. It's not like I'm super eager to play Halo Infinite, even though I know they've improved it quite a bit. Thanks, Reason Jose. I'll probably try Baldur's Gate 3 solo campaign tonight. Thanks, Reason Boner. New black myth foo new black myth footage today. Oh. Since Black Myth Wu Kong released its first trailer three years ago, every year no way, on it's August twentieth, the developer Game Science has shown something new about the development. How is time going that fast? What? It's been three years. Holy shit. I thought this was at most like a year and a half ago. Wow. Jinkies. Progress of the game. However, what's different this year is that we finally got to play it. My 45 minute demo provided three boss fights and a relatively complete chapter experience. It's worth it's noting pretty that good too. after the event, the dev team made some adjustments to the trial version based on the feedback and suggestions I don't love the received damage during the closed door no reason, evaluation that I participated in. As a result, my experience may differ slightly from what others experienced in Hangzhou and at Gamescom in Joey Cologne. Baron and Toaster. Due to time limitations, this trial version did not include the level up system. However, it provided players with a set of skills and equipment that will be obtained in the mid game of the final version. In addition to basic light and heavy attacks, the protagonist's attack stances can be switched between three oh, different like postures, including Let's go. smash form, pillar form, and thrust form at any time. Furthermore, spells such as Immobilize, Stone Solid, Ring of Fire, and The Pluck of Many are also available for use. There are also two transformation abilities. One turns you into the previously seen Fireblade Wolf, and the other results in a creature with poisonous attacks. This is looking great. Additionally, players will find and collect certain potions. I was a little nervous with their last. Uh, it's important to know that these video, configurations may vary slightly depending on the different stages. Early. The first boss is named Centipede Guai, and it appeared in the first 13 minute gameplay trailer released in 2020. This time, it awaits players in a horrible cave. Its attack Who's methods include by? rolling and heavy punches, as well studio. as the ability to release poisonous gas. So you wouldn't know them. This gas inflicts a slow acting poison effect on the protagonist, causing gradual health loss, which can only be cured by consuming antidote potions. However, this boss is considered relatively easy overall in terms of difficulty for this trial version. After becoming familiar with its attack patterns, most players should be able to defeat it easily. The second well, just boss wait till is Twitter the gets their hand Chief, on it. It'll be a very seen contentious in the snow point. Snow Mountain of the 2021 trailer. This time, players can experience the sequence just as it was shown. You can observe how the protagonist's movements and combat in the snow-covered terrain dynamically affect the accumulation of snow. Is this in someone at IGN time. playing right this now? Because they're pretty good. This holds a secret. They're actually if hitting the carries and shit too. health is reduced to half within a certain time, it's really easy it triggers to do that. his second phase. To encounter the monkey with wings. The protagonist needs to venture deeper into the scene. In this state, the monkey's aggression, attack range, and attack patterns all increase significantly. It gains the ability to launch aerial assaults against the player, making for a thrilling and intense encounter. The third boss is the Tiger Zero, Vanguard, Zero, who appeared in the 2022 trailer. This time, the Tiger Vanguard awaits players' as challenges in a blood pool in a temple. According to the developers, this boss will play a role in the storyline as an NPC who imparts the stone solid skill to the protagonist. Therefore, Spoilers. you will witness him using this Cringe. skill during the battle. 
One highlight of this scene is how the water reacts and changes dynamically with the actions in combat. The Tiger Vanguard boasts the highest attack speed and aggression among the three bosses. Not only does he possess both physical and spell-based attack abilities, but his combo attacks also deal substantial damage, making it easy to fall victim to his assault. The you know what I haven't seen though from any of these gameplay the videos Hangzhou is normal that mobs. I played the game at is called Purple Cloud Mountain. The overall scenery is somewhat reminiscent of the all seems super empty until you get to either a mini boss or boss. Trailer. This is a relatively complete level experience featuring various environments such as forests, villages, and temples. There are also as many as four or five types of enemies waiting for players along the way. Don't underestimate these minions as they also possess the ability to deliver a fatal blow to the protagonist with a single a time. strike. There's also a detour path in the level that players might not easily find where they can encounter a hidden boss, the Poisonous King. This creature has the appearance of a scorpion-like monster. After engaging in conversation with it, players need to break the wine barrel beside it to start the battle. This hidden boss presents the highest level of difficulty in this trial version. It possesses extremely fast attacks, deals heavy damage, and boasts I don't know, it seems skills that inflict poison on, on those the player. Frames. It took me nearly an hour of generous. fighting to defeat it, and there were several instances where I succumbed to poison before being able to use the cure potion in time. And while Black Myth shares some similarities in its mechanics with the Dark Souls series, the combat feel here is quite distinct from any other similar games. In my opinion, this distinction arises from the fact that in other Souls-like games, players typically wielded That's weapons- That's looking much, 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 much better than their last gameplay preview. I was excited for it, then I got a little nervous with the last gameplay, and that one really brought me back. That looks fantastic. Things you resub, you know, and some off. What do you mean, what happened to YouTube streaming? Why do people keep asking that? In the video, very early, I say that I'm still going to do both. I just no longer have to stream on Twitch anymore. So I can just bounce back and forth when I want. So tomorrow it'll be YouTube. And maybe the day after it'll be YouTube. And then the day after that, YouTube. And then back to Twitch on Wednesday. Like, it, it's just, it's flexibility. It's just freedom. I was on YouTube last night. And no, I can't do both at the same time. Twitch forbids it. Thanks, Yeti. Thanks, Yeti. Yeah, I saw the hands-on preview for Lords of the Fallen. That actually made me concerned for Lords of the Fallen. It seems so cumbersome. Like, the combat seems so slow and janky. So it made me nervous. Because they've only shown the heavy combat, the light combat looks way better. Hope so. Is Resub Kai dashing an edge? Is Resub the last door? Yeah, I made a whole video on all the companies whining about Baldur's Gate 3 being too good. I'm very well aware of that whole degenerate debate.
Ackman just did a video on it. Oh, is that okay? Is that why people are bringing it up again? Makes sense. Law, the latest yeah. receiver it's of embarrassing. Baldur's Gate 3 is too good and hurts our feelings. Don't expect quality like this from us. For you to be chosen thusly. Let me see the combat. Let's do some star shine in Nova. Dylan. Is this the light combat you're talking about, Jenkins? Because this still is looking really slow off those two encounters there. Not this one. The one I saw had Bloodborne dodges and he was using dual daggers. See if that's just maybe further along in here. Thanks to resub suede. Man, I really want this game to be good, but the gameplay footage is just not, not getting me hype. Here's some Johnny and Plow. Blood board. <laughs> Fair enough. God, it's just so... Oh, that killed him. Wait, that just one-shot him. So if you break his stance, it's insta-kill? Interesting. I see we said Petrol, Arrow, Zoro, Nice Day, Courage, Chronic, and Armored. This may not be the final stage of the game, they might make it faster. It comes out next month. What are you talking about? Actually, I don't even think it's a month away. I think it's less. Comes out October 13th. Okay, so a little under two months. A little over a month. Thanks to Resub Yi, Evan, and Prime. chat when the game isn't made by FromSoft. I don't know, man. It, it just really does look very clunky. I agree that it's always really harsh on Souls-like games that aren't FromSoft, but I mean, even things like Mortal Shell, most people were rallying behind, but this gameplay footage is not looking great. Mortal Shell's ten times slower, but at least it's unique. This is just Souls, as you know and love it, but slower. Mortal Shell at least had different mechanics. The only thing different here is the um, dimension phasing with the lantern, it seems.
the split world, which is super sick. That's what I'm talking about, right? Isn't that with the lantern? Where you phase it with the lantern and you make that, that like, basically upside down? Doesn't change the gameplay, though, does it? I don't recall in the extended gameplay if it changes how you fight. Just changed what enemies you saw in the, the terrain. What's up, everyone? Mitchell Saltzman here, alongside to kind of be able to manage those situations. Just right? show me the split Different world. Guy with all our medieval stances and all that, everything else. But uh, also a lot of ergonomics in terms of movement. So in that regard, we have kind of trimmed some of the recovered animations. You can get out of the certain recovered animations just a smidge faster. We can, you can swing the sword and when you're selecting, you can uh, switch stances or in Bosses between really attacks cool. seamlessly, like from here. The animation, so we added the kicks and the bashes to uh, to, to uh, combine, into, combine into buttons, mm -hmm. and what we call the multi attack, uh, the multi hit uh, with the. Instant, we always check with external uh, uh, people, like it can be players, it can be press, it can be you know like different types of companies, right? And then they give us the reality check, like hey, so what happened actually with the heavy attacks? It was like hey, they are too slow. Like, what? Uh, what do you mean? To <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Okay. Thanks for the gifts of bread. There's some doomsday. Happy birthday, Alyssa. Yeah, of course I'll play the Killer Bean game when it comes out. Thanks for some Cosby. Damn. Yeah, I played the Texas Chainsaw Massacre game last night. I'll play it again with friends, so it's not just me playing solo. He's a prime guy. Do you forgive Bintelec's apology or no? Do I forgive him? That's not for me to decide. I'm just making fun of him. I thought it was trash. But I'm not the one that needs to forgive him. Watch bug bombed. What? Is that a show? It's a cartoon? I thought you were talking about Blue Beetle bombing. Because Blue Beetle is not looking good right now in the box office. It had a lower opening than Shazam. Shazam 2, that is. It is struggling. No way lower than Shazam? Yeah, it opened lower than Shazam. At least the uh, opening, or the Thursday preview and then opening day, I believe. Maybe not anymore, maybe now it's past Shazam. Here, let me pull it up. So the Thursday showing was 3.3 million. Shazam had 3.6, I think. And then opening day, which was yesterday, I think did 10. Yeah, 
Things tier one lucky. Maybe some Mark in Duma. I saw people were hyping this up. Is it any good? Uh, that's because they hype up legitimately every DC thing ever and then never go see it. It's like DC fans think that they're doing their part by getting people excited and then they don't have to go see it. So it doesn't perform well. And then it always leads to it being overhyped. So when people do go to see it, they're like, well, that was underwhelming. It's not bad, but this is very, very generic. There is nothing unique in Blue Beetle. Everything's quippy. Everything is exactly what you expect it to be. There's one really great emotional scene, but then after that, it's right back to quippy quirkiness. It's just very, very, very standard superhero film. No, it's definitely not bad. It is not a bad movie. It's just very, very unapologetically generic. There's the bits wavy. Resub pie. People who saw it liked it a lot, though. I saw it, and that's how I'm telling you it's extremely generic. So not everybody. You have to keep in mind, in the modern landscape of 2023, people's entire personality revolves around being a hype conductor for properties that they like. So their entire existence revolves around making sure that they are praising the thing that they identify with, like the community. So DC, for example, or K-pop, for example. So they're always going to gas the shit out of it. They have to. It is a fine movie. It's very generic. I don't know how anyone would go to see this and think it's anything special because it is completely content being generic. It doesn't attempt to do anything different. It is just every single box of a superhero film is ticked off. Thanks, Arisa Andrew. Did you see the marketing team was promoting the movie at the writer's strike by wearing a Blue Beetle costume? Can't say I saw that, but what a wild idea. Is the Prime Sinju? People didn't hype this movie up at all. People were hating on it since the first trailer for no reason other than butthurt Henry Cavill isn't coming back. It's so interesting. Like, it's very clear. Bubbles keep forming around people and their perception of things. This movie was gassed out the wazoo. You were likely only seeing people on your For You page and your timeline who are the people that would be just upset about its existence with Henry Cavill not coming back. In general, most people were singing the praises of this film before it ever even came out. And if you go on Twitter right now and read about its performance and read about, like, you know, its opening is low, all of the comments, pretty much all of them, are about, like, this is such an unfortunate circumstance because this is the best DCU movie ever made. This is actually the best thing they've ever produced. Is there some fun and five gives subs tiny? I saw people on Twitter compare its quality to Spider-Man 2. Yep, that post popped off. That's got like 30k updates. I saw that one. Is it Prime Gum? Gnarly and K. 
camera. What was the coolest part of the movie? Probably him making the sword at the very end. And he uses it only for like two scenes. But it was cool. Has anyone read the comics? I heard it's pretty much comic accurate. Yeah, I don't know the comics. I don't know if it's comic accurate or not. Couldn't tell you. Is he resub cupo? That's all you remember because you fell asleep? I didn't fall asleep, but it's interesting you mentioned that. The person next to us did fall asleep. Legitimately. He fell asleep in the very opening and didn't wake up till like midway through. Man was actually snoozing. Was he old? He was a little older than me, but he wasn't like old. He was probably like in his early 40s, maybe. Average DC fan. He was not a DC fan there. He was either he was there with his kid and wife. So no doubt in my mind he just got dragged to it and said, fuck it, I'll catch up on some sleep. He's a tier one frog. Is he resub Corfin? Fro Thanks to Tier One Frog and resub Josh. Do you think, do you ever see the people constantly tweeting that James Gunn needs to be fired and Zack Snyder should come back? No, James Gunn hasn't even, like, the new DC Universe hasn't even started yet. This is still pre-James Gunn that keeps getting released. So far, James Gunn has released, like, the only two good DC things that have come out recently. Fucking Peacemaker, the show, was a banger. And The Suicide Squad was good. Everything else he has not made yet. <laughs> All of this is still pre-James Gunn. Blue Beetles pre-James Gunn. Yep, this is the last non-James Gunn spearheaded film coming out, I believe. Well, James Gunn spearheaded. James Gunn as the head of DC. I think this is the last one. No, still Aquaman 2. Oh, Aquaman 2 is the last one? I thought that was James Gunn. Let me see. Nope. You're right. That is also pre-James Gunn. So there's one more on the docket. And it's probably going to be a stinker. Let's see, Resub Humberg, King, and the Prime Tinder. I thought you were leaving Twitch fraud. Why won't people just watch videos? <laughs> what do you mean? It, it literally takes less than a minute. You can watch it on two times speed. I literally say I'm still just going to do both, but now I don't have to be held prisoner and only stream on Twitch. God, it's so frustrating. Like, it, it it's not even a, a long investment before you start, like, spouting shit you have no idea about. It, it actually takes so little effort.
There's the bits mech. And the prime whale and resub Avalon. Ask John YouTube to update the chat. It's so bad. Yeah, it's pretty fucking trash. I don't know why they haven't addressed that yet. Not only that, the UI, like, to go live is fucking horrible, too. Messi just won his first trophy in the U.S. That's huge. Congrats. Hey, if you're watching, Messi, good work. Is there some autopsy in Relku? Yeah, I know Truffle helps fix the chat. I'm just saying I don't know why YouTube themselves hasn't actually just fixed it. seen the game on guard yep will you ever move out of florida at some point i'm gonna have to it's gonna be underwater but until then no, i don't plan to move out of florida Did you see that one game designer on Twitter say Starfield was a bad game because the menu screen was simplistic? That sounds like an amazing take. Let me find that. I see a YouTube video about it. Where is the tweets? Is this it? The Saigonomy of Start Streams. The screen... I'm assuming this is it. I'm guessing this is the one? Oh, the physiognomy of start screens. The start screen of a game can reveal a lot about how rushed the team was and how much pride they took in their work. Starfield's start screen either shows hasty shipping deadlines by a passionate team overworked or a team that doesn't care. I mean, it's just, I mean, it's just, just a menu. <laughs> I mean, it's just a fucking menu, man. No one's going to sit here and look at it for very long. This tweet is 100% engagement bait, don't feed. This guy's a game dev. This is this is not a good idea, I I would imagine. That doesn't feel like engagement bait. This man's a professional in the industry. He's apparently a former Blizzard dev, too. Is 
This dude's been losing his mind on Twitter for the past few years. He has the dumbest tweets and made Firefall. Give me some of his other bangers. I, I'm not familiar with this guy. But just scrolling through his Twitter, he seems genuine. He just does a ton of rage tweets for bait interactions. Well, what does he do these days, then? Is he just a professional Twitter angry man? I'm just scrolling through. He tweets like 9,000 times a day. He, like, replies to every single comment in his threads, too. Yeah, maybe you're right. Maybe it is all just bait and he's trying to get, like, the Twitter paycheck. Probably lost all of his money on Firefall. Oh. Things are some Megan. He hasn't worked on a game since 2014. No. He was fired from being CEO of his own studio for being a pain in the ass. <laughs> I mean, he seems like such a bubbly, nice guy to have around. What do you mean? That sounds like corporate conspiracy. Is the resub Metallica? Not every professional should be listened to. Fair enough. Fair enough. It's crazy how much he tweets. I'm still scrolling and I've only made it to August 17th. Two days ago. God damn. One of the reasons he was fired was because he wasted millions on a party bus to promote Firefall. I've got to find that story. That sounds like an incredible investment. That's like some Dan Bilzerian shit. What is this? I'm just seeing old tweets now. SJWs are saying, okay, the bus made money, but the game flopped. Dude, I wasn't there for the launch, and they changed the whole game. What? Holy shit, look at this bus. Wait a minute. Hold on. He was on to something, sports fans. That is an incredible bus. Wow. That's fully custom. It's a, it's a full RV. How did this not propel Firefall to international acclaim? How long did Firefall exist for, by the way? It was only like six months, right, before it died? Or was it ever even fully released? I don't remember now. It's such a fleeting memory. They called his behavior as CEO erratic and destructive. X-Red 5 staffers blast Mark Kern's destructive behavior. Hmm... I don't know if I believe that. I want to know what the idea was with this. Things are you said, Nemesis and Gilb. What is that? 
It doesn't exist anymore. How did he think that spending millions on the bus would generate profit for the game? He became embroiled in you-know-what in 2014. I don't know what. What did he get embroiled in? What, what the fuck is all this? Law & Order SVU aired an episode about video games called Im Intimidation Game. It's being called The Reefer Madness of Our Times. What? What the fuck is this? Reefer Madness of Our Times. Over Law & Order SVU? I just want to know about the bus. Jesus Christ, this guy seems like a loser. I just want to know the bus. I want to know the story behind this. I want to see some footage of the bus. You spent millions of dollars on it and all I can find is a single goddamn picture? You didn't fill that thing with hookers and blow and make like a giant party bus tour across the country? What an idiot. Oh, here we go. Inside the West Coast Customs Firefall Bus. Wait, the West Coast Customs Firefall Bus? This is a car, and this is a West Coast Customs car. What up? Hey, what's going on? What's up, guys? Wait, the... Okay. Wait! The game stations. No way! We definitely do that. I mean, the game stations look like it's so a cool. good piece for us to mold and make multiples out of there. I think these guys are... I, I can already see what it was. I get what his plan was. We are going to change the perception of gamers. We're fucking epic. So we're going to get an extremely expensive multi-million dollar bus made by West Coast Customs. It's going to be an episode on their TV show, which all of the cool people are watching. The bus is going to be fucking hip. It's, it's gonna bang. And we're gonna drive it across the country promoting Firefall. Where's my applause? Let's just see the final product here. I mean, the bus looks great. West Coast Customs did kill it. I want to go for a, a little tour here. Or he lands this at the five, and it's like you can track the bus on where it's gonna be. So, like the fans that see this on the show, they're gonna be like, "How do you how do you find this?" But Man, it's quiet. On and track it, and it's very. No one's logging on to track the the bang bus for Firefall. I'm gonna tell you right now, that was a dumb idea. He should have just publicized where the bus was gonna be making stops and give out like codes to Firefall. Simple. Because no one was playing it otherwise. Put it up on the battery. Perfect. Thanks. We have everything complete inside. All lights completed. We have Pete finish up the last computer program so we can get this thing to be sequenced so it can open. I mean, the bus is cool. It is a cool bus. Gaming evolved. Servers all running. Let's get up front. Make sure everything looks good. That aged well. Thanks, the resub. Ozark, Duck, Joda, Quan, Clarkson, Tahir, Potato, and Skyfall. So I'm gonna head down to the anime convention, meet Mark, the brains really behind Firefall, and see what he thinks of this bus. Great statement. I'm heading down to the anime convention to drop off this goofy bus to a really goofy guy. But there's one last thing I gotta check. I gotta make sure it's there. So I figured I'd pull it up on my phone. We basically, my dream come true and then my biggest build of my career. So now it's here in LA, debuting it, everybody's loving it. Coming to a convention like this. Hard part about it. It's like, I tell people, Mark. I get regular picture updates, but nothing really prepared me for seeing it in person. Why don't we give them a peek? Let's do it. All right. Yes! It's the Firefall Bus! Wee! <laughs> Let's fire it up. Could you save it on our electric bill? <laughs> it's a little warm, huh? <laughs> it just catches on fire. Yeah. I'm ready. This was the best thing to ever happen to Mark. 
He probably still thinks about this event. This is worth every penny. Turn that shit into a rocket ship. Mark, you gotta do this again. Everything is amazing. All the fans are happy. Mark's happy. His whole Firefall team's happy. Honestly, I, I didn't believe it was real. I kept looking at that drawing going, how is this ever gonna translate? I was really worried, and I was like, is this, is this ever gonna be tangible? Pretty cool. All of this for the game to just die two days after launch. Well, th that's just because gamers didn't understand what a great game it was. Look how much fun they're having. Like, it wasn't Mark's fault, it wasn't Firefall's fault. Just those goddamn entitled gamers. So interesting. What a character. I, I didn't know shit about Mark. How many watts is that bus pulling? I don't know, man. I'm sure they didn't get to keep it for long. They probably had to sell that shit pretty quickly once the game flopped. Or maybe Mark got to keep it. Thanks to Tier 1 Beam and the Resub Robot and the Prime Bingo and Caliber and Coyote and Element. If it's Arrow. If it's still in one piece, see if you can buy it from him. It is not in one piece. That shit has been scrapped. No doubt in my mind. There is no way that bus is still put together. You think that bus is where he's tweeting from? Yeah, it's like his hub. It kind of reminds me of that shit out of Live Free or Die Hard. He backpedaled so hard in the next tweet. Eh, I don't care. <laughs> it doesn't matter to me. This still gets to live on in glory. Baldur's Gate three time? Maybe in a little bit. I'm enjoying these little goofy rabbit holes of things I didn't know were going on. No, I'm not playing the Mortal Kombat 1 beta. I'm just waiting for it to come out. <laughs> Dude... <laughs> Do you think the woke mob had a part in Firefall's death? Well, according to some of the tweets I saw on that Reddit thread, Mark would certainly answer yes. Damn wokies. <laughs> Canceling a, a good good old-fashioned red-blooded American Firefall MMO. <laughs> Thanks to the resub, Beck. Did you hear that the room temperature superconductor study got pulled? The lead scientist is getting investigated for fraud. Damn, that is horrifying to hear. That's sad. But we did t we did temper our expectations. We said during that stream that it could all be a bunch of baloney or not replicatable. We 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 took it with a grain of salt. So I'm not that shocked. These are subs are Things to give substream, the bits goblin. 
Does YouTube streaming have anything going for it other than the VOD system, which is so much better than Twitch or nah? Um, so there's pros and cons of both. Obviously, Twitch wins in Twitch, or, Jesus, in chat functionality because YouTube chat is garbage. It also wins in actual UI and design because it's significantly better. The, U, the UI for YouTube streaming is incomprehensible, like how horrible it is. YouTube wins in, like, quality. There's no bitrate cap, whereas Twitch, I think it's 6K. YouTube doesn't have one. You can go up to fucking 12K if you wanted to. So all the streams are going to look better. You can rewind in a stream seamlessly, no problem at all, which is a huge W, something I wish Twitch would have too. I don't know why it doesn't. So that's a W. Um, and then I guess if you're talking about from a streamer perspective, the split on YouTube is better. It's 70-30, whereas it's 50-50 on Twitch. The VOD system is significantly better on YouTube. It's not even close. Twitch VODs are a joke. The Twitch mobile app is also complete dog shit. I haven't watched a YouTube live stream on mobile, so I don't know if that one's any better. But Twitch's mobile app is fucking trash. So, pros and cons of both. Mobile YouTube streams are an abomination. Oh, they're bad? I, I've never seen a stream on mobile for YouTube. But I've tried many, many times watching streams on mobile Twitch, and they just actually are non-functional. Like, actually non-functional. You hype for Starfield or skeptical? Oh, I'm hyped for it. I'm a I'm a little nervous that it's going to be a like disappointment, but I'm still looking forward to it. Let's give Submanic. All the leakers are saying it's legit. I've seen mostly a positive response from people that have already played it. But I always take that with a grain of salt because most of the people that have access to it are the ones that got early codes and they're always easy to win over. They'll be like, oh my god, this game is fucking incredible. Please don't blacklist me. Keep sending me codes. So I always am a little skeptical of that kind of shit. But everything they showed leading up to this release looked good. Hold on, quick text message. Excited to it. I'm, I'm excited to attend your esports event and be there all three days. Hey, fuck yeah! Looking forward to seeing you. It should be fun. Game is a joke, 30 FPS should have been told. They did They did say that, like, immediately, that the game was going to be 30 FPS locked, which is embarrassing. <clears throat> on console, 30 FPS on console. Sorry, 
I thought we were all on the same page. No, not 30 FPS across the board. Console. Just console. PC will still be 60. Just 60? Well, no, I'm, I'm sure it'll, I'm sure you can uncap. Things like Prime Beaver. I just mean like it's not 30 FPS locked. You, you can do 60. You'll be fine. How many years in the making is this? Is How many years in the making is this game? I think it's like five, five or six years or something like that. Is the reset pink and delusional? Technically 25 years since it was first mentioned in 1999. Yeah, that's kind of cheating, though. <laughs> I don't think they've actively been developing it for 25 years. Would you ever come anywhere in Pennsylvania for the live event? It depends how the first one goes. So depending on how the one in September goes, we'll see. Certainly open to it, though. If it ends up being fun and people enjoy it. Is it resub exalted? Is it resub spoon? When's the golem speedrun coming? At some point. I'll eventually muster up the courage and actually go for it. Is it resub ghost? Live event doing in Tampa? Yeah, we're doing a big, basically big party for our esports team. September 8th, 9th, and 10th, because we're competing for the world championship. So we're going to make a big event out of it at the Straz Center. Will Post Malone be there? If he wants to, he's more than welcome to. Thanks, Risa Bimdak and Paul. Things of the bits Ronin. No, we'll still stream the watch party, but a lot of it also won't be streamed. A lot of it will just be like event exclusive stuff, but we'll still stream like the watch party for people that can't make it. Thanks for your sub stoge. Yeah, Black Myth Wukong does look very good. The new gameplay looks incredible. Thanks to the bits, bro. 
<laughs> Will the gentlemen do a halftime show? Probably not at this one, but maybe down the line. We have some pretty, pretty cool ideas if we do continue doing it. Mm -hmm. You seem confused. Yeah, I already talked about the new Killer Bean game. There's a resub. Stilty, Troob, and Quepsy. We're going to talk about Messi. I mean, I don't have much to say, man. He just he won a trophy, right? That's what he does. It's not surprising. Inter Miami League's Cup Final. Lionel Messi chased his first U.S. title, and he got it. Messy smurfing for real. Actual IRL smurfing. Not wrong. Thanks, Arisa Bottom. I don't watch the full games or anything, but I keep seeing the messy clips. It is very clear that he is just in a different league to everybody else. It's not even fucking close. Ten goals in seven games. Oh yeah, it's 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 <laughs> incredible. He's already one of Inter Miami's top ever goal scorers in seven games. How long has Inter Miami been around? They haven't been around that long, I don't think. So it's not as crazy as it sounds. I think they're only like, what, 10, 15 years old or something? Because I can vaguely recall when that team was formed when I was younger. Oh, and I wasn't even that much younger. Five years ago. Even more recent than I thought. Is it Prime Matthew? <laughs> I really thought it was a lot older. Thanks, Prime Corey. You ever seen competitive Stein, Stein holding? Yes. You remember Mighty Beans? I still have all my Mighty Beans, yeah. Of course I remember them. When David Beckham joined the MLS in his contract, he could buy a team for like 25 mil. So he waited till that was basically pennies. Really? Smart. Messi has the same thing in his contract. Smart. Okay, let me grab uh, Baldur's Gate 3 real quick and we can maybe start a solo campaign there. How big is the game? Shouldn't take too long to download. Things of the resub elk. I accidentally almost bought something called Book of Hours instead of Baldur's Gate. I would have actually been so upset. I autopiloted and for some reason it went to that. 